Well, there's lots that is happening in the final quarter-final at Wellington between New Zealand and West Indies. And breaking news coming in is that Martin Guptil has smashed a double ton against West Indies in the fourth quarter-final. This is the second double century of the 2015 World Cup. The first one, remember, was hit by West Indian Chris Gale himself. This is the fifth score of a batsman where he's reached a double ton. The first have obviously had a lot of Indians who've done it before. Sachin Tendulkar, Virendra Sehwag and Rohit Sharma. This is the highest score also by a Kiwi batsman in a knockout stage of the World Cup. So a great 100 by Martin Guptil out there. Let's go across to Boria, who's joining me from Australia. Boria, obviously this match uh, depended a lot on the way New Zealand would have batted. And here is Martin Guptil, who scored a brilliant double 100. Brilliant, brilliant innings, Radhika. Martin Guptil is on fire. I mean, the way the fellow was playing and each ball was being dispatched to any part of the park that he wanted to. Even that uh, the shot that he played to get from 194 to 98 was an unbelievable straight drive. If you've seen from the start of that innings, there were many such straight drives. Uh, you know, he played to all parts of the park, but the way he maneuvered the innings, most importantly, Brendan McCullum goes early, that partnership with Kane Williamson, and thereafter partnership with Ross Taylor, Martin Guptill carries on, partnership with Grant Elliott. For an opener to bat for 50 overs, it was an outstanding innings, and he deserves every bit of the applause. Chris Gale, uh, yes, 2.15, but in a, in a pool match against not the best of opposition. But Martin Guptill, West Indies doesn't have a bad bowling attack. Jerome Taylor, Andre Russell, uh, Jason Holder. It's a reasonable bowling attack. And for Martin Guptill to smash 200-plus in a World Cup quarterfinal on home soil amidst all the pressure is sensational. But Boria, one man who will be really disappointed in kicking himself will probably be Marlon Samuels. Guptill was dropped on very early on in the innings. And he's definitely shaped the way this match is heading now. And we keep talking about these things, don't we? I mean, yesterday also in our show, Andrew Simons and Nikhil Chopra were making these points about how important fielding is and how important catching is. Pakistan paid the price for dropping Shane Watson and Glenn Maxwell. Today, Marlon Samuels drops Martin Guptill and see what's happened. That tells you how crucial these catches are and they can turn cricket matches on their head. I mean, Martin Guptill has ensured that New Zealand has run away with it. There is no chance for the West Indies. Yes, Chris Gale is there. Yes, Marlon Samuels will bat. Having said that, a 370 plus score is not chaseable. It is 99.99% of the times it is not chaseable. And you've got to kick yourself for dropping those catches. That tells you how crucial fielding is in the World Cup. It's not only about batting and bowling. It's equally, equally important how you hold your catches. Having said that, Radhika, the innings was special. The kind of hitting, straight blows, the way he ran between the wickets. If you saw his running between the wickets, pushed himself for every single when Ross Taylor was going a bit slow. It is a sensational knock.